We begin with terrifying moments for a carjacking victim who says three men threatened to kill him. Tonight, we're hearing from that victim of a crime spree that came to a crashing end. And before it did, the same suspects allegedly threatened the lives of police officers as well. CBS News Miami's Naja Sherman has the story. I spoke with the carjacking victim in this case, and he was very emotional. He told me about the moments that the suspects threatened to take his life. Out of concern for his safety, Carson asked me not to show video of his face and only use his first name. He told me about 4 o'clock this morning he was gassing up his car in Miami Gardens when three suspects walked up to him and threatened to kill him. They told me to get on the floor, don't even look at them, because if I do, they would shoot they would kill me. Um, I had my coach bag with my keys and some money in the bag. They took the keys and they ran off. They got out and they just shot up the area. Everybody fled. And when I looked, I see them pressing the keys. They saw my car lights flashing. They jumped in my car and they just took it. Police told us that the officer saw the car linked to the carjacking and began following the car. They say the suspects pointed this long rifle at the officer several times during the chase. But it all ended here behind me at 25 Avenue and Northwest 62th Street where the suspect's car collided with a marked Miami-Dade police vehicle. Carson says he's not doing okay right now, and he told me he is traumatized by what happened. The officer involved in this crash went to the hospital with a concussion. He is expected to be okay. Naja Sherman, CBS News, Miami.